first day at Chihuahua, first day in Mexico for my for my lifetime. Uh, going from 90% humidity at sea level to 10% humidity at about 5,000 feet has done a number on my voice. The drive here has been slightly uneventful. We had some issues at the border trying to get through. That turned into a fiasco. So technically I've been in Mexico, out of Mexico, and then back into Mexico. So finally got here and navigating with two navigators fighting each other in the back in the back seat of the 9200 pound excursion plus trailer and car through the streets of Chihuahua was not the greatest of experiences that I've had especially trying to navigate the slightly smaller roads and all the other kind of stuff so overall it's, it's been a it's been an eventful morning so how do I feel on the first day both cars pass tech. I don't gotta worry about them. I don't have to wrench on them. That's kind of the nice thing. Uh, slight seat belt adjustments here and there, but everything else has been pretty on point. Uh, Richard and his team has done a good job at getting both cars uh, ready to go. And hopefully that means I don't have to do very much work and I just enjoy my uh, sightseeing and not have to actually break the, uh, the wrenches out to do anything. Uh, I am known uh, around the parts as the redneck Tony Stark, so depending on where uh, something happens, I will figure out a way to fix it, or at least a way to make it work until the end. Uh, hopefully that, that playbook doesn't have to come into play. Well, we had a, a slight axle issue. Um, currently, that's being rectified, so we should have her back running first thing for ready for tomorrow morning. See our chaos. What's your clearance in here with those? We're good. Those are on the inside.
310. Tengo una 410 nueva. Okay, I also have a 410. Tengo una 410, Roger, ¿qué? Wow. I mean, man, it's 308 currently. So 350 would actually make it illegal in class. The Miata lost the alternator belt, so it ran out of charge, so it had to be brought back as well. So it was kind of a tough day for Apex today. We're, we're working well, to, we're working towards uh, getting it done. Um, really, it's uh, we're replacing the bolt, replacing the belt, and get on, get on with it, and get it on. Just want to say this is an amazing country. My first time in Mexico. Uh, it's very beautiful here. Uh, look forward to coming back again. Uh, not, not the, it's different than the way you see it on TV from America. No, it's still no connection. Uh, this year kicked our ass, to put it politely. Um, from axle issues to alternator issues to supercharger belts to rear ends going out, uh, wrong jets, wrong plugs. Uh, we had some challenges this year, but on day three, both cars finished. I feel good. We, the car drove itself under its own power and no more tow truck rides. Today it ran really well. Oh, we love Chihuahua. We've come, this is our ninth year, I believe. We love it, love it here. Keep coming back for more. I would also add to all those that you have not been with us to Chihuahua Express is this event offers us three diverse uh, scenes to go through. We've got our basically forest, our farm area, the Amish Mennonites. Uh, we've got Copper Canyon, compare it to the Grand Canyon. We're racing around roads around the Grand Canyon for you Americans that have not used Google to look up Copper Canyon yet. And then on day three, we race out to Ognagua, uh, which I pronounced incorrectly, and I know that that's because I'm American, but uh, we race through the desert mountains there. And this gives you a chance to race through three areas that uh, you can't replicate, in my mind, anywhere else in the world. You race on hollowed ground from 1948, where the original Pan Am ran. 
This is history, come experience it. We had some challenges this year. You think you've got a car built and ready to go, but then you show up and you put it out on the Mexico roads and you drive the daylights out of it and you find out exactly what you did not touch. Or maybe that that you touched and you did not engineer correctly. So every time we come here, we learn new things. Every time we come back, we come back stronger. And uh, 2023 will be a new year.